eyebrows. The storm! Wake- The storm! Wake up! I have to wake up! There! I see him clear as day. <clears throat> the lowest ranked among them. A shield bearer who dreamt of battle, but had seen nary a skirmish. A teller of tales, not a doer of deeds. Phoenix. What a name! Phoenix! Sounds like the sound a dumb bird makes when it lights itself on fire, which would be ridiculous. Although, I should write that down. Washed up on an unknown shore, Phoenix awoke. Looks like the only way off this beach is up that cliff. Phoenix saw his captain and fellow soldiers in the distance. Through a trick of the light, he could almost see them waving and calling to him. Phoenix! Again! You may not be your brother Ligiron, but I will make something of you yet. Hold my shield. Try not to drop it this time. I didn't see you there. Don't let them get to you. They're just jealous. It's not often someone has a brother like yours. Lokogos! Lokogos, can you hear me? You've gone cold. What magic is this? Ligiron! Where are you, brother? Unarmed and lost, Phoenix was vulnerable. I have to be calm. I have to follow my training. My brother's sword! No! Nagiron! <sighs> brother! You've always been my hero, my North Star. I will bring you back. I swear it. Phoenix had never been allowed to hold the Hallowed Sword, 
A gift from Achilles for bravery in battle. He balanced perfectly in his palm, as if forged for it. Achilles' sword? Brother must have been good in battle. Is something wrong with your voice? I never got a sword. Just say. Phoenix look down. He was not alone. By the gods! Stay back! He readied his sword for his first real fight. Phoenix felt his training come into focus. I should be able to survey the land from up there. This is the largest statue of Hermes I've ever seen. I wonder who built it. Besieged by challenge, totally alone, this young hero was determined to save his fellow soldiers and brother. Boring! Can we skip this part? No. This is important for the sense of atmosphere. Hermes, my old friend. It's an honor to finally meet you in person. Just don't tell anyone I'm speaking to you. I got in enough trouble for memorizing stories instead of tilling the soil back at home. And then the other soldiers? Well, they really don't appreciate a good story. Phoenix's destiny was becoming clear. So far, all you have shown me is a mortal soldier who has fought one real battle, and Typhon grows stronger by the hour. Don't toy with me, Prometheus. I swear to you that soldier shall be our salvation. For if he fails and Typhon defeats us, Zeus, King of Gods, the world will fall to chaos. A temple of Apollo? If it has an oracle or a seer, they could help me undo this curse. A griffin? But they aren't real! Let me go! Help! Hey! I'll save you! I'm coming! I need to find a way to reach that rift. How to get down? The pond! Uh. 
Giron's blade with every step. Its weight a reminder of the heavy responsibility. You gave him your blade? Oh, Achilles. I, I meant to ask, why exactly would you expect to receive a sword from Achilles? Oh, uh, as an offering, just a routine offering from someone who gazed into your eyes and told you you were special. That's all. I left a rose on his breastplate. Got something in my eye. Keep going. Who's done this to you? Prometheus, stop with the mortal pity party and get to the action part. Fine. Now that's more like it. <laughs> Mantin shed by Typhon's minions, metal of the gods, threw itself to Phoenix, as if wanting to be forged into something greater. Can you hear me in there? I'm coming! I found your axe! Phoenix approached the axe, feeling it call to him. Looks like the axe of Atalanta. That must be a copy. Although... But before Phoenix could claim it, the axe was pulled into the pit by a terrible force. No one. You think that old trick will work on me? Come into my parlor, said the Cyclops to the sailor. Well, that's the end of Phoenix. Perfectly passable storytelling. I won't lie, there were moments that dragged, but you really got me with that ending. Now, let's settle up. Time for you to help me against Typhon. It's not over yet. Not by a long shot. was this strange place? It's Tartarus. Just exactly where had Phoenix landed? Tartarus! The nasty abyss where I imprisoned Typhon. He must have opened rifts into the vaults of the underworld when he escaped. You know it, I know it. Say it! Phoenix was in Tar... Sure. I hate you! But aren't you intrigued? No. Keep going. Or if you will fall like all the others. Who are you? Hello?
What's this? Wings? Phoenix ran his hands over them, noticing that several pieces were missing. As if someone had ripped them apart. They seem to be man-made. I wonder how they work. If they even work. Actually work! Sort of. The axe! The axe of Atalanta. Deadliest of hunters. Swiftest of heroes. Fallen at the hands of Typhon. Didn't I change him into a lion? You turned a lot of people into a lot of things. I need to stop drinking. Lightning! Scattered, hidden by Typhon. It's over! Phoenix is Helios Ash! No one can handle those bolts but me! Oh, really? Uses lightning bolt? No way! <laughs> Power surged to Phoenix. It was too much for him to bear. Uh, what's happening to me? Bye bye, mortal. And then, just like that, it stopped. No! The wings grounded the lightning. They were designed to withstand storms. That shouldn't be possible. And yet, this is just the beginning. Having plunged into the abyss of Tartarus and living to tell the tale, Phoenix emerged victorious. For now? That stranger I was chasing, where did he go? With the wings, he would be able to flit across the ancient bridge and find out. I wouldn't just strap on discarded junk. Who knows where those have been? Many a night, Phoenix had told tales of a genius. An inventor named Daedalus and his extraordinary wings. Perhaps someone copied their design, Phoenix mused. So junk? Ooh, maybe it's cursed.
Huh! <laughs> 